Linux compares to Microsoft and Apple. What's your reaction? This is such a strange thing. Your software, uh, Linux, is in millions of computers. It probably powers much of the internet. And I think that there are like a billion and a half active Android devices out there. Your software is in every single one of them. It's kind of amazing. You, you must have some amazing software headquarters driving all this. That's what I thought, and I was shocked when I saw a picture of it. I mean, this is, this is the Linux world headquarters. Where... Um, yeah. It really doesn't look like much. And uh, I have to say, the most interesting part in this uh, picture that people mostly react to is the walking desk. It is the most interesting part in my office, and I'm not actually using it anymore. And I think the two things are related. Uh, the way I work is I want to not have external stimulation. Uh, you can kind of see it on the, the walls are this Uh, light green. I'm told that at mental institutions they use that on the walls because <laughs> it's it's like a calming color. It's it's not something that really stimulates you. Um, what you can't see is the computer here. You only see the screen. But the main thing I worry about in my computer is it doesn't have to be big and powerful. Although I like that, it really has to be completely silent, right? I know people who work for Google, and they have their own small data center at home, and I don't do that. My office is the most boring office you'll ever see, and I sit there alone, in the quiet. If the cat comes up, it sits in my lap, and I want to hear the cat purring, not the sound of the fans in the computer. So this is astonishing, because Working this way, you're able to run this, this vast technology empire. It is an empire. So that's, that's an amazing testament to the power of open source. 